I'm really obsessed with it. I like it. Because it changed my hoodie because I'm like one third in and I got this big box from Jisoo. Really got me out of a slump. Today is a PJ day because I am still wearing PJs at almost 1 p.m. I've been reading all morning. I'm currently reading A Court of Mist and Fury and it's okay. I've heard a lot of people say it's their favorite book. I've heard a lot of people say they dislike the first book and it's not that I disliked it. It's just it's really, really slow and I can understand why people put it down. I just bought the entire book series so... It's, I think, probably the first series I'm going to actually really try to not DNF. And the second book, I think there's just way too much going on, and I'm not really used to that in the books I read. There's way too much for me to focus on. I never thought that too much in a book would ever be something I wouldn't want to read. There's a new setting every five pages. So much world building. It doesn't keep me hooked. It kind of just tires my brain, I think, a little bit. Hey, guys. It's me from the future here. I'm editing the portion I'm talking about Akatar, specifically Aquamath. This was a month ago. And in my opinion, I thought the second book was really slow and it took 400 pages for, I feel like, something to actually happen. And just too much world building. So in my opinion, that's not my favorite part of a book. I like when everything's already settled and then it kind of resolves. So in my opinion, I really got hooked into the series during the third book. The first and the second book really tied everything together for the third book. So a lot of people's favorite books are the second one, but to me, it was the third one. So... Just wanted to put that in there because it's a great series and I think about it every single day and re-watching this I'm like how how did I even think that? I'm also gonna try something different. I have this strawberry whipped cream. I've seen so many people do strawberry matchas. Oh my dog's gonna think that's for him. <laughs> so my goal was something like this but now it's so messy. It's kind of scary actually. I had to change my hoodie because I took my flowers upstairs and I was also carrying like five different things. So I carried the vase like this and I got the pollen from the lilies all over my sweater. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of that if it does come off. Because it looks like turmeric. I was trying to figure out for 30 minutes where it came from. I'm trying to figure out what to make for lunch and I remembered that I bought so many different types of new ramen. I might just make this one though because I have to make something quick. And I'm tired of washing dishes. So you know what? I think I just answered my own question. I'm gonna make this one. I also bought some candies. So I think we'll try this green grape chocolate gummy after. I have some rice cakes, but I don't know if the rice cakes will cook with it in here. If it takes four minutes to cook like the ramen, then maybe I can do it. I've never done this way, so please pardon me being very lazy. Hope they cook. If they don't, then that's okay. I have no idea where my gochujang went, but I love this sauce so much that I bought the individual hot sauce, but can someone please tell me why this happened to mine? It's solid. It said refrigerate after opening. Okay. I think it's been four minutes. <gasps> I think they could. I actually haven't made this in a while. 
So I have no idea what my tolerance is. I'm gonna add some mozzarella. I got a few packages in the mail today, so I wanna show you guys. One I opened because it came here in the morning and I never get mail in the morning. Got this little bag set from Road, and they sent their new cleanser that I'm really excited to try. I wanna say trust her skincare because I use this every day. I think this might be eczema approved if I'm not mistaken. This thing honestly saves my dry skin. This little bag, I gave the other two things to my sister since I already have some and then I got this big box from Jisoo and it comes with this so cute like I absolutely love packaging like, I want to keep this new honey infused scented lip oils they have their gold one but I've never tried it actually so I'm whispering I don't know why I'm whispering I feel like I should try one but I don't know which there's watermelon sugar strawberry sorbet and mango passion punch I think I'm gonna go with strawberry because I'm a sucker for anything strawberry. Let's try this strawberry one. I don't have anything on my lips right now. I kind of love this packaging. I love how each of the boxes are different. It's glass. I kind of hope this isn't too dark. This might be a little dark. Oh, actually, it's not. This smells like a strawberry popsicle. Guys, oh my god, wait. It's not dark at all. And then I got another package from the pharmacy. I'm not sure why, because they sent me something two weeks ago. They had their famous moisturizer. I'm so picky with moisturizers. I only have three moisturizers that I ever will use, or two, now three, which is very big for me to say because I randomly got acne prone skin and very dry skin when I turned 20. Don't know what happened. I never really had acne my whole life, just sometimes they stick acne. They said they're new. Honey Milk Hydrating Essence. Ooh, it has chamomile. I don't think I've ever seen skincare with chamomile. So cute. Love the packaging. I don't think I've vlogged in my kitchen or my house in such a long time, and I kind of miss it. I kind of went on a vlog slump. Also, I almost had a heart attack this morning. Ollie has never howled ever in his life, and he howled in his sleep. Ollie has never howled ever by himself unless we like howl with him. It was so scary. It was out of a Halloween movie. I'm not even kidding. It sounded like a werewolf. That was not a dog. It didn't sound like a husky howling. And I searched and then apparently they can howl when they have a nightmare, which is really sad, but I got so worried. Like I was like, you're crazy at the vet. I feel like I finally got back into reading. I think I read quite a few books last year, but this series really got me out of a slum. I did read some fantasy when I got into reading again, but not like, this far in where there's so much world building there's actually i don't think there's that much world building in here i feel like this is a good series to start with world building i would read like greek myth retelling that's what it is so i've read a lot of greek myth retellings and i feel like that kind of eased me into fantasy but it didn't have that much world building because in greek myth they always use the same kind of background and they just do their own retelling and then my sister kept telling me please read this so i did honestly i am having an avatar hangover which i didn't even know was a thing i didn't even know it was possible i was like oh it's not gonna happen to me i think i tried to read a lot of classics last year i think part of it got me into a book slump getting into fantasy and reading all of the hyped up book talk books so now i'm reading fourth wing i'm gonna put the sleeve back on because my fingers keep getting stained and i don't know if it's because of the spray or because of I'm borrowing books right now and I want to finish them before I go buy books. I do want to read Six of Crows. I made a Goodreads, by the way. I haven't mentioned it here on YouTube, but I mentioned it on Instagram. I'm like one third in and got pretty good. Met the dragons. It is about dragons, by the way, so it's not really a spoiler. By the time that I edit this, I feel like I'm going to be done with the series because... Well, not done with the series. It's not finished. I feel like I've been reading so quickly. I read this in a month and a half and I kind of wish I took my time with it more. I like Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
excited. Trader Joe's croissants are so underrated, but make sure to cook them for a little bit longer. I think these were in for 30 minutes. I have third day hair right now. Normally I wash every other day, but I straightened my hair for Easter and I'm like, I'm really obsessed with it. I never straighten my hair and I feel like it makes the cut look so much nicer because I have like a hush cut slash wolf cut. I feel like it's a perfect in between. I feel like now that it's grown out, it looks so much nicer. Um, and I've never had thin ends ever in my life because I have extremely thick hair. I already feel it at the base of my head. So anyways, I don't use dry shampoo. I really want to have straight hair for another day. So I'm going to try this dry shampoo spray that I got. Apparently brands are starting to do more dry shampoo sprays rather than aerosol sprays. I don't know anything about dry shampoo because I personally don't like how heavy it feels on my head but this is a spray so like i don't think there's like no color coming out i feel like dry shampoo has only really been good for blonde hair i hope it doesn't make my hair white but i can't really tell my hair is getting light again especially at the roots my roots always get really light and i think i might actually let it go light this summer wait i actually love that okay Results, I just got back from the gym. Um, I'm gonna do a hair mask. I have never really been crazy about hair care, but I've been getting a lot of hair care products in the mail. So I got these two recently, the Jisoo hair mask and then the Briogeo one. I'm gonna use this one on dry hair just so I can have it for a longer period of time. And all of them say to use them in the shower, but I always thought that hair masks were supposed to be done before you shower. I'm gonna do that just so I can get extra moisture. Hopefully I can get like a decent amount in. This feels so weird. I guess maybe it's easier that I'm doing this with straight hair. I feel like maybe it'll go in a little bit more. I don't even know what's the best way to put on a hair mask. <laughs> I feel like these end so quickly. Maybe I'm not supposed to put this much. Or I'm putting too little, I have no idea. Oh, let's hope it does something. Um, my hair looks white, I feel like you can't tell, but I cannot. <laughs> I was gonna leave the house like this.